Yeah, I'm a grown man listening to So Fago. I'm fucking your mom at the same time, little bro. If you want, I can come over and cook you some mac and cheese too. People, people act like being a grown man, independent, financially free, basically retired at this point, doing talking for a living. Y'all call me a grown man. That's a that's a compliment. Thank you. At 26 years old, making more money than your mom and dad, suck my cock. For the people who are supporting me, you know this isn't at you. But anyway, so Fago. There was a viral tweet. Just so, like, you know, I already know the Sofago fans are gonna, gonna come at me being like, yo, bah, why are you always hating on Sofago? And then maybe even Sofago's gonna come out of the woodworks being like, yo, I don't fuck with this Bob dude. I didn't come up with it, man. It wasn't me. I'm trying to find this dude. Okay. This guy tweeted it. Let me make sure y'all can see it. Because you can't. Here you go. He said, and it went viral. Viral, viral. He said, Travis Scott ruined Sofago. 2,678 likes. 53 quotes, tweets. Probably, you know, people were like, oh my God, Fago is God. But then we got 144 regular retweets. Some of the quote tweets are probably supporting what he said to in agreement. Now it said Lil Boy should have signed Opium. We still have not figured out if Ken Carson was talking about Fago. Um, they are boys. It's not necessarily like a diss in that case, but it had to be somebody that Cardi would have offered to Opium. Or it could have just been him talking shit. But chat, I need everyone's opinions. 2K likes is not viral on Twitter. It is in the underground hip hop community. There isn't that many people in this community. Y'all acting like it's going to go mainstream to fucking CNN. And, uh, you know, they're going to be talking about the political and economic state of the world because Travis Scott ruined Tra uh, Sofago. No, dude. Sofago don't even have like a million followers. How, how do you expect this to go crazy, crazy viral? This is viral for our community. We'll get into Ken later, Tevil. Ask the question later. I want to hear if y'all think Travis Scott ruined Sofago because personally... I don't think so. But why all of a sudden is now people like, yo, Sofago waited too long after just one freestyle of Double XL? He was with fucking Saucy Santana, uh, Dochi, who actually didn't do that bad, Casey. Like, he just didn't look like as star power as he could have been. Personally, I liked his flow on the freestyle, but people were hating. We already discussed that, though. But I think in the future, upcoming rappers are going to start thinking twice before they start accepting Double XL. Because I don't know. It, I feel like it, yeah, it may give you some eyeballs, but, but it's like almost a higher chance that there's going to be negative publicity coming out of it. I know there's no such thing as negative publicity. No matter what, like you're getting more streams. But like it's just not a it's not a good look. People see it as corny nowadays. God damn, Gadil sent me 125 of whatever um currency that is. I, I don't I don't know. But I don't think it's Travis Scott's fault as to what's going on with Sofago. And personally, we were just listening to one of the songs in the EP and it was solid. Have a good day And then Count Me Out Solid track 2 Doing well on Spotify With like little to no promotion You know it had a little bit of a budget Let's see what type of currency this Gadiel's is Gadiel Ziamarimag Super Shattered 125 Love you Bob 125 what? They didn't even Even YouTube and Google didn't know what that shit was you're saying Travis doesn't push enough. But again, I don't think it's Travis Scott's fault. I mean, what is he what did Travis do? He got him a Foot Locker commercial, aka Nike Foot Locker, whatever. He's seen with Travis Scott, gets like the little co-sign. He got the Kardashians or the Jenners to listen to Sofago's music. The what's it called? The lyrical lemonade music video came shortly afterwards. Uh, for whatever the song was, I can't even remember. It was the one produced by Lil Tecca. Um, and I think Cole Bennett would have done that regardless, but Cole Bennett charges a hefty price for them music video budgets at this point. So, 
um yeah I, I don't think it's his fault so fago just waited too long so for all the people who are saying like what, like beefing with me when i gave my opinion long ago saying he was waiting too long because realistically look if he consistently dropped maybe he wouldn't have the same amount of hype around pink hearts or maybe he would probably have more because if he consistently dropped say like yeet who low key high key passed the fuck out of everybody that might have happened regardless though but if you continue to drop maybe these negative publicity or like i don't know the freestyle or the cypher maybe they wouldn't hit his brand a little bit they it wouldn't hit it as hard i mean because he just consistently drops music now every single thing that happens to sofago is like people are like oh shit it's under public scrutiny whereas if you constantly feed the fans then they like they have more ammo to like back up like and bazooka all of the haters you feel me travis literally got to hop on a hit with fago for it to work well see that's the thing so fago's just working on music likely we've already discussed it but i'll repeat as soon as travis scott drops utopia and so fago features on a track he's clout gonna go to the moon as well as when he drops pink hearts and it has not only the uzi feature on it it has the travis scott don tolliver potentially Sheck west whoever else maybe even yeet on like the deluxe or some shit maybe even ken carson i don't know his clout gonna go to the moon but you know i just feel like everybody's hating on people in the upcoming rappers just because that's that's what they when uzi was coming out ebro and a bunch of people were hating on every single upcoming rapper even cardi so i think they're good just give it some time probably wasn't the best look to be on the same <laughs> cypher freestyle as saucy santana but hey man it's probably gonna go viral just because saucy santana is like the first like popping trans or whatever lgbtq rapper there is right so it's it's gonna get views maybe not for sofago but for saucy santana and then he was on the video so that's how it is you know what you were thinking you you kind of knew that travis fest accident happened that fago's career was going to be on hold for a long time right and i think that we predicted that but i don't think that that's so fago's fault i mean sorry travis scott's fault i think if so fago wanted to he could drop here's another thing that happens with a lot of rappers i feel like when they sign a lot of times people think labels like inhibit their creative control don't let them drop as frequently or whatever i'm sure travis scott would let him he even wants sheck west to drop but sheck west is like no i don't want to but i feel like once rappers you know they work so hard five six seven years in the underground just to finally get that label deal that they've been dreaming of their entire lives then they get that 500k million dollar to however much it was i believe so vegas is like 500 but correct me if i'm wrong for any of the fago fans who know regardless that's a lot of money once they get that fucking huge check that they've been working for they probably start to like, you know live a little lifestyle finally they get to like have a little vacation and sometimes rappers and i'm not saying this happened but potentially you know he got wrapped up in the vacation and just you know hadn't been recording for a little bit or needed some inspiration or i don't know you get what i'm saying like if you won the lottery for 10 mil or even just a million dollars you're probably gonna quit your job and be like why the fuck am i delivering packages at amazon when i just copped a milli you're gonna go invest it or like go on a vacation enjoy it at least for a couple months right then you might go get another job or something that's worth your time so again that's probably what they doing i'm never a fan of like artists stopping releasing music i tell y'all everybody's just trying to be cardi and it just doesn't work not every artist is cardi no no i think it, it doesn't work for anybody anymore except for like uzi and cardi that's it who else i can't think of anybody maybe travis scott but the fans are pretty patient with travis scott i feel like 
what if Travis is not on the album and Fango not on Utopia? Well, that's a that's a thing in itself, and that might be a good move. Like let Sofago build his brand outside of Travis Scott, but I would think that the reason to sign to an artist is specifically to get like their big look, like their feature, use their clout for the next artist. They did it for Don Tolliver. They did it. F- is Travis Scott on? I know Sheck West was on Jack Boys, but was Don Tolliver on Sheck West's like Mud Boy album or whatever it's called? Mud Boy dropped in 2018. He was not. It was completely solo. So yeah, I mean, maybe that was Sheck West's idea though. But Sheck West was on Jack Boys, so he still got the look. And if there's a Jack Boys two or three, whatever we're on, so Fago will definitely be on it. He'll he'll get his shine. Don't worry. And they'll put him on Rap Caviar, potentially. He's good. Fago should try and leave. Damn, people are slaughtering. I don't think Travis Scott influenced his sound whatsoever. I think he's doing his thing. I just think that so Fago's taking his time. He's probably making all these decisions himself. And Travis Scott's just laying it out on the table. He's like, yo, which one do you want to do? Do you want to do this Foot Locker? Or you want to do this? Like, go in the studio, do your own thing. It's not like Travis Scott is literally checking in on him every fucking day. He's got bigger things to do, like lawsuits, getting sued for goddamn a billion dollars, if you recall, like in total. And, you know, blasting out Kylie Jenner's ass cheeks. He ain't got time to be checking up on... they. The label's got like their own manager. So Fago probably got his own manager as well. So Travis Scott just opens up the doors for everything. And then So Fago picks or his manager picks. Travis, the only rapper that doesn't help his artist. Man, what, what more can he do? He got in the Foot Locker commercial. And he, he got Don Tolliver on Astro World, And that blew him the fuck up. And then afterwards... Don Tolliver dropped his own album and a bunch of songs went crazy on TikTok, giving him like the budget, right? Don Tolliver was a nobody before Travis Scott. Shout out Johnny Socket. Johnny Socket super chatted $5. When should they hand out verses to their new artists? Kendrick gave Keem like four or five verses and they were huge. It was at a great time too. Yeah, I mean, Baby Keem is bigger, though. He's had, like, multiple hits, whereas Sofago hasn't had any, like, big mainstream hits. He's had, like, underground hits, and he's had Knock Knock, which is one TikTok hit, which is, I would I would say that's the only one he got so far. But Baby Keem didn't get the Kendrick features till later on. So Sofago is going to be on this next album, potentially, probably, and then, you know, he'll get more and more later on. And it'll probably just become a standard thing. Just as Ken Carson should get with Cardi next album. I think it's time to go with that. But we'll talk about that in a sec. 